Hey guys, and welcome back to World of Animals. So, it has been a few months since I last uploaded the video, and that's because I just didn't have any time to fil film stuff. But, um, I'm back again, and in today's video I will show you all of my tanks. And yeah, let's get started with, with this um, 25 liter aquarium. Um, that's about six and a half gallons and you might have already seen what's in there if we look closely over here you might see them there it's a tiny little fish right there that's a female scarlet badass or Dario Dario these tiny little cichlids are very very beautiful um, as you can see the females do not have that much color but the males are flashing red and blue and I absolutely love them unfortunately I don't have any males left but I will buy a new one soon so I have two females in here and if I get a male I think they will breed in here. I just rescaped this um, tank yesterday. You can see there are only crypts all over the place. Even on the sponge filter there is a small crypt. Um, because I saw um, these kind of tanks in some videos and I thought that's pretty cool. I want to have a tank like that. So I just planted crypts all over the place and they have to grow in of course but the filter was already pre-cycled so the fish are alright and they already um, ate some artemia so everything's fine. Right next to the other tank we have another 6.5 gallon or 25 liter tank with some Neocaridina Davidi or Davidi um, in there, I'm not sure how to pronounce this. I'm s how to pronounce it. I'm really sorry. Um, these are red cherry shrimp, actually. Um, in the middle, we have a big chunk of moss, and if you look closely, you can see some right there. These both are males. You can see one there and one here. Um, I have a big red female in here and many many juveniles or baby shrimp whatever and some ramshorn snails and I absolutely love the color of these shrimp so I keep them in here and it looks really good. This right here is my 14 gallon tank. Um, we have some rainbows in here as you can see right there. Um, there's one better female and we have another one in here and if you look closely over there there's a sparkling gourami. I have two of them left. They're both in here. All fish in here are doing fine and I have some string algae or hair, al hair algae but it's not that bad and the fish love this tank. I think they feel very comfortable in here. And um, in the future I will do videos on just um, one tank and explain everything about the fish and the plants in there. Uh, but today's video is all about giving you guys um, a small fish room tour. And so let's keep going. Right here we have the 112 liter tank. Um, it didn't really change since the last video. Now I have some cichlids in here. As you can see here, this is the gorgeous female. And back there are the cherry spot rasporas still in here. Somewhere is the Picolsia vitata, the small pleco. And back there, right next to the filter, is the male. I'm not sure why, but they breed 
they have been breeding two times and now the female is constantly bullying the male and I'm not sure what to do. The male can't um, stand against this aggressive female and I'm really sure that this one is the female because the, uh, she guarded the eggs and the fry but sadly um, she ate them. I'm sure not the Rasporas did it. I think she ate them. But that only was the second time they had eggs, so I think I will get some in the future too. On my desk, right next to my computer, I now have this little aquascape. It's a 10 gallon, I think, maybe a little bit less, 30 liters. And as you can, guys can see, I have here a gorgeous male beta splendens, or um, yeah, just better. This one is a placard because he has like the short fins, and I absolutely love his color. You can see on the white fins in the front and he's really really active as you might have noticed so he has much personality I love him and we have some beautiful plants in here they're all growing really fine over here for example yeah this tank is really gorgeous here we have my biggest tank um, <laughs> up here the hygrophila is getting out of control, it's growing out of the water like it does in nature actually. Um, this plant comes from swamps so it grows out of the water but the roots stay inside the water uh, and that's like the best filter you can get so <laughs> this is pretty awesome. It's about 60 or 70 centimeters tall up here it's just awesome and right down here we have one Gara Salonensis left and I have some small life bearers here they are I got them as a gift and I think they're gorgeous they're not that colorful like guppies but I think they're still pretty awesome and somewhere in here there are four cardinal tetras as well maybe I can get some footage of, footage of them we will see in this 35 gallon tank I have three plecos or three ancestres um, which are called bicolor or bicolor they actually are not um, they don't have the uh, same color as other ones they're kinda different and I think they're really really gorgeous but they are a little bit shy and young so um, I'm not able to sex them yet but I bought like three of them so maybe I have a male and a female and I can breed them in the future at the moment I just I'm just trying to um, grow them out and hopefully I can get some footage for you guys because they tend to hide all the time so that's it for today's video guys hopefully you liked it if you did leave a like and a comment and of course subscribe if you want to see you on the next video